Right, I'm turning all the lights on. Oh, thank God. Now we'll open it. Leave it open. Stop that noise. Textbook in Espanol. Mm. Right, Bruce Pendleton. Dear head conservationist, Greenbrier, due to your exemplary management, um, your new posting... Oh, right, so she gets re reposted. This is on the 8th of February this year. Ah. Much more reasonable for the commute. Fair enough. Hey, Lonnie, sorry Mum has uh, was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then... When she is home, she takes it out on you, like, because you're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Haha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mum lives in Florida. You have to have a mum every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mum thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mum is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment, in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mum in Florida? No! <laughs> oh, brilliant. It's down here. Magazine. Froth. Alright. Oh dear. Ooh, what's this? Guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of love. It's quite nice. Unlock from the inside. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> That's good. Right, and I can get through. So, this is the floor I'm on. So I'm behind the locked door. Alright, so I haven't explored it yet. That's fine. Come on. It's difficult to pick this up, sorry. There we go, examine stub. National tickets. Earth, Wind and Fire, Civic Auditorium. £25, £3.50. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's that's good. £28.50 for a uh, ticket for Earth, Wind and Fire. And that's dollars, not even pounds. That's pretty damn good. Good band. Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, told you. And it was like three bucks, American. I love it. Merry Christmas, miss you. P.S. Treasure it always. Uh, well, we have done. I'm leaving all the lights on now, by the way. I'm scared. Oh, my goodness. Fwah, dining room. Mom's purse. Take care of our forests. Oops. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Or oh, Rick, sorry. Ah, oh, you see, they have got something going on together, haven't they? They really have. Is there anything in here? No. No. I'm liking this story. I hope... Well, I mean, obviously you'll have turned off now if you didn't... If you weren't enjoying this. But I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. It's really cool. Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone... Pri privileges. I think you misspelled it. Privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with the kind of behaviour at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. Oh, I wonder if Lonnie distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school suspension. <laughs> I wonder if it's this that she was doing it for. Interesting talk Oops. with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. Is it about being gay? I mean, you've known, right? Yeah, it is. Ah, I've known. And they didn't like it. Bastards. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. Yeah. They should accept they saw the you. Zine and the stuff on the locker, I see. and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? Hmm. And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. Uh. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even 
respect me enough to believe me. Nah, that's not good. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Mm. Good. I'm glad you didn't change your mind. Whoa, look at that. Is that from St. Paul's? No butts in heaven, says God. <laughs> the Greenbriars. Hi, Mum, Dad and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, I've been to the Vatican. It is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Mum, and Mum, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important... Uh, pieces of important... Uh, dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I probably won't get... I won't get gored by a bull. Probably. Love, Kate. Katie. That's a really dull picture. Maybe that's the point. Oh, I like the bird on it. Looks like a swallow. Oh, I like that picture after all. Sorry. <laughs> I take it all back. Is there anything here? No. Everything's left in just disarray. It's really strange. What's this button? The Gits. Is this a new band? Don't give up on this, honey. The Accident of Warrior. Ah, oh, I'll put it in the bin for you, Dad, since you clearly don't want it. Um, tissues over there. No. Anything in that? Anything in that? Anything in that or that? No. Fair enough. I can't get through there. I've looked in there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Where the hell is the light switch in here? Ah! Oh my god. Right, I've got to work out where I am. Oh, I went straight in there, didn't I? Okay, so we're at the end of there. That's fine. That's the kitchen. Bratmobile, some special. Oh, some special was on the set list, wasn't it? Let's listen. <laughs> Right, well, I understand what's going on there. Don't need to listen to all that. Oh, shit. Water dispenser, honestly. What's this? Frozen spinach. Veggies. There's not going to be anything in the freezer, is there? Fish sticks. Icebox. Alright. What in the fridge? A human head! Used by six, uh, so the 5th of June 1995. What's the date today? I've forgotten what the date actually is today. Oh, in fact, it should be on my ticket, shouldn't it? <laughs> 6th of June 1995. Okay, so it's, yeah. Okay, so it's... So it goes off today. Alright, so they haven't all been out for so long then, but why is it so messy in here? More pizza, guaranteed, blah blah blah. Right, invitation. Helen Margaret to Mr. Richard so-and-so marriage of their daughter. 1995 at half past four. 4th of June. Sunday the 4th of June. Right, so that was two days ago. Sam schedule. Working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 3pm to 7pm. Oh, so she's working at Crown Burger. Well, that might be where she is then. Nothing in there, is there? Why do people never set their microwave timers? It really annoys me. Anything up there? No. Nothing in the dishwasher. God, everything's interactable, if that's a word. But why is it all so in bloody ruins? It's like... Oh, maybe there was an earthquake. There's a pizza left in this one? No. Maybe there was an earthquake then, because it was saying about earthquakes, wasn't it? Samantha and Danielle were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on an aventha. All right, but they went to the darkest, to the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. Danny said, uh, D "Daniel said, are you scared?" So Samantha said, "No, are you?" They left. 
and went more into the bad part than they went to a part that was never there before and there was a ship, a pirate ship on an ocean. Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Denial, and Daniel said, aye aye captain. <laughs> and they went on to the pirate ship and started sailing away. Daniel That's finally came over to get his game. Oh, Daniel. I'd been dreading it. Oh, the Nintendo but he game. he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. Oh. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug oh. and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Hmm. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels foolish like a feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. Publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time. So his weird JFK uh, theories. The lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type out there, mass marketing shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as Massage of Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me, and Venusian Flay flesh traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilizations, anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford's might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild-mannered, insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the book since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want to supply a new for we want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Saviour and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want you we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. That's cool. So he actually said yes then, really, didn't he? Because look, Unknown Dimension Literature Discovery. Cool. All right, well, that's what he's been up to then. Here's the garage. Car's not there. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3 to 7. Ah, so they're away. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Right, never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. $40 for pizza? Bloody hell. Misc Halloween. Bottles and stuff. I didn't need that. What's this? Crumpled note. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house until you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change. <laughs> Grab name tag. Sam. Crown burger. Oh. Why is that in the bin? She said, use, feel free to use my room, didn't she? She's not coming back. Maybe she's run off with Lonnie. Who knows? Grab the hat. <gasps> ROTC, that's Lonnie's hat. Ooh. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. They've gone. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day. And then you deploy from there. So... They'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be gone. Mm. Just gone. 
That sucks. But it looks like you've run off with her. Congratulations on your new position. Dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier, having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you. Very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State's Forestry Office at 8am on the 1st of May. That's good. So she did get the job. Well done, Mother. There's a face. No, there's not. Yeah, well done, Mother. Fuck. Didn't enjoy that. Is there anything in the pantry that needs needs looking at? Bags and stuff? No, not really. Okie dokie. I think that's everything in here, isn't it? Right, so I've learned quite a bit about them here, haven't I? Ooh, hello. What was this again? Unknown Dimension. Ah, so they've shipped some of that as well. Great, so he's had both of them accepted, which is nice. <clears throat> Let's continue down the hall. I don't think it is going to be scary now. I hope not. It's quite nice. I love this game. This is really nice. Barcelona. Uh, hi, Mum, Dad and Sam. I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the Gaudi architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. Crumpled note. Booted out. A going away show for Lonnie D. All ages. 3rd of June. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. Uh, oh, she sings. Fair enough. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Aww. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. Aww. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Shit. Right, let's have a look in here. There's another another badge. The slits. <laughs> um open the washer. No. It's no no use. Oh I thought that was a note. <laughs> it's not though, is it? Open the dryer. Like a, a note. Yeah, I knew it. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. Look, she's had trouble writing this. I've always known it was where I'd end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and, and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Until then, something, something. Lonnie. Ah. Uh. This is sad. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. There's no light in here, is there? That's all right. There's a lamp. That'll do. Strong pines. A couple's counselling retreat. Oh. Booked. Oh, my God, that's what they're doing. It's a couple counselling retreat, not a honeymoon fun place. They really are having troubles, aren't they? Mum and Dad. The accidental human. So that's his next one, maybe. Dear Kaz. That's me. I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you said that the Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived 
interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that comes completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terence. And maybe that isn't to me, then. Maybe Kaz is a colleague. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. This is the character in his books, isn't it? Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement, the days where he mattered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, I'm getting quite close to the end of my camcorder timing, so I might have to swap it over in a minute, so apologies. Where we'll do it. Midnight, June 5. Final preparations are complete. Oh my goodness. Secret door. I knew there was one under the stairs. I knew it. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. Oscar? And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. Oh. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Oh. That's Lonnie, isn't it? De Soto. There you go. I just remembered. And also... Whoops, shit, sorry. And also, I wanted to look at this again. So he was Terry's uncle. So he was my great-uncle. That's what I wanted to look at. I was listening to what um, Sam was saying there, but that's... Yeah. Sucks. Sucks. Oh, there it is. There it is. And here's, here's the skull she bought. It does look nice, I have to say. Shit. Oh, it suddenly got horrible. Hasn't it? Oh, God. Attic key. The sunset light in this house... Oh God! It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. I dread to think what's going to be up here. I really do. I dread. I've got six minutes left on my camera. Is that enough time? I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise you might have to watch me. I might have to disappear and you'll just get the microphone instead. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Well, I have to now, love. Sorry. Please don't jump on me. Please don't jump on me. I'm scared. Oh my God. Is she up here? Christmas decorations and things. I'm actually really nervous. Turn the lamp on. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong, I love you, Lonnie. Kick ass. Mm. Oh my god. Katie. I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a oh part of all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can. And get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive. 
until we find somewhere for us. Oh, good. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Letters to Katie. And that's all of the letters. Katie, oh, wait. I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Love, Sam. Wow, well. There you go. That was gone home. So I guess you ran, I mean, I'm, I'm useless when it comes to things like this. I really am. I'm useless when it comes to uh, working out what happened in stories and things like that. I don't think that was a particularly twist ending. I think because I was going up there thinking, "Oh God, I'm going to find her," but she's done something unthinkable, you know. But it looks like she decided to run off with uh, Lonnie. So Mum and Dad are having troubles, and she's gone off there. But all this happened in the year while I was gone, you know. It's quite uh, quite amazing, really. I mean, tell me if you think this music's terrible. No, tell me, please comment if you think that I've analysed that incorrectly, or if you think that there's something I've been missing here. Um, I tried to explore everything, but I've, I've really enjoyed that. That was great, and I got quite a few episodes out of that as well, didn't I? I'll try and make them a bit long. But thank you, everyone. For watching and thank you Fulbright for making this game it was actually really good that was a lovely lovely exploration kind of thing my brother might like that I'll suggest it to him um, so thank you for that and also yes thank you to um, to Pat Plisinic for gifting it to me that was really nice cats <laughs> oh, damn right there's a cat called Gandalf that's so cool Mikkel Possum. Oh. I always watch the whole credits. Well, thank you for making the game. I enjoyed that. Now, well, I'm going to go and read up about it and see what people say about it because I, I thought that was great. Again, it's quite like Dear Esther in the sort of story-driven, not really much happening apart from just walking through and finding things out. But I, I thought that was great. You know, were nice little things to explore. A couple of tiny puzzles and so on. Ah, uh, there you go, look, they're back together. It's joined up. It is that. I didn't didn't misinterpret. That's good. Tell you what, that was creepy though. Expecting a bloody ghost to appear at any point. Yeah, what was that about? The whole ghost ghost thing. Cause there was a lot about possession and exorcism and all that sort of thing, but Well, either way. I'll, I'll read into it. So anyway, thank you so much for playing. It's uh, for watching. It was really good. Lovely journey there. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care all. Bye bye.